I am here with Sasha Jean Baptiste. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to me. Thank you. Your workload is crazy this year. Is this the first year that you're doing all of the numbers and stuff? Because I know you've helped with specific numbers in the past. Yeah. So this is my fourth year working with SVT, Melody Festivalen, as contracted for SVT. So previous years I've been doing, well, before that I was peeking in my head and doing acts and I've been doing that for the last three years, previous three years actually, I've been tied up to what we call In The Hall. So it's actually the, the, um, the program, the format, so it's opening acts, interval acts and stuff like that. This is my first year of being a performance producer together with a very talented lady called Lotta. So we're taking care of all the acts. Yeah. So of course your background is in dance and choreography mm -hmm. and all that type of stuff, but how did you come to branch out and become more of like a creative director? So I started as a dancer, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> but and for me dancing is everything, like movement, choreography. That made me really early think of I just had the desire to create it more myself. That's why I started as a choreographer. And after that, I still wasn't satisfied. So I continued into doing everything. Or actually being the person who is interpreting a song and having a vision and doing the project management together with other creators. But I still, I mean, for me, I want to do choreography in my own performances. I rarely let that go. Sometimes I do, but it's uh, it's still very close to my heart because it's everything is connected. If you do a move, you want to know exactly how the camera catches that. It's really hard when you lose that connection between movement and cameras because that's everything how you build a performance. In looking at a lot of the numbers that you've done that are specifically just your numbers, both mm. in Mellow and in Eurovision, it seems like you really like dark colors and dark lighting. Is I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> black dress. <laughs> but is that an aesthetic? that you've always been drawn to it is well I think mm, less is more and I think it's important to have a concept mm -hmm. and that goes for shape that goes for colors I think that when you just glance at a TV you should understand mm -hmm. who that artist is from the beginning it comes to everything styling dressing silhouette light design camera production yeah I think it's really important to be minimalistic in your choices. When you hear a song and you decide that you're going to stage it, how quickly are you seeing the visual ideas of how you want to present it? It's different. I usually, and it's very different, because it, it depends on what production. If you look at Eurovision, for example, and I think we should talk about Eurovision because that's the most applicable one when it mm -hmm. comes to me being able to have a vision and create it. But it's for somebody else. It's always for somebody else. Mm -hmm. I'm not the person with my name standing on stage. It's, it's an artist who has a career, and this is an important choice for them. So, I mean, I need to listen to the artist, if you look at your vision, and the delegation to understand what they're doing. But um, for me, I get a song. I want the song and the artist, and I want to listen to it and get my own vibe on it. So I know if I'm the right person. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of creative directors, and I know what I'm good at, mm -hmm. because I've worked a couple of years to learn what, what I'm strong in and what I can help with with a song. So I listen to a song a thousand times, <laughs> but usually, I mean, sometimes you get it right away. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like the verse and the chorus, verse, pre-chorus, and then you can come to the second verse and then I usually know. Yeah. So of course, I need to ask you to talk about creating Fuego because mm. The audience will have my head if we don't have you talk about that because yeah. it is this huge phenomenon and I know, I remember seeing you post during the season where you were seeing all these excited comments and tweets and people being, yeah. uh, I, what was the one comment where they said to me like, oh, Sasha Jean-Baptiste decided I'm going to give the gays everything that they want and you just were loving that feedback. Yeah. So do you want to talk a bit about developing that number? Because I think that's probably yeah. the number one number that people will want me to ask you about. Okay, cool. So Fuego it is. Well, it's first of all, it's something that is so fresh. I still love it. I'm going to love it uh, even years from now because I think we created something together that was really good for the song, but most and all, I mean, first of all, it was good for Eleni. So, I, I mean, I know the, um, the producer, Alex, is a Swedish producer, haven't worked with him before, had nothing to do with it. I got contacted by the delegation or the country 
and they presented a song and the artist. And for me, it's very interesting because Eleni is, she's a performer. Yes. I went to Greece to see her perform. I was like, okay, girl. <laughs> uh, but she's a performer and I really instantly, I like artists that have a strong output. They don't have to be fire and sexy like Eleni is, but I love that as well. Yes. But they have to have an integrity as an, as an artist on stage. It's easier to detect what you want to do with them. And um, Eleni is fire. The song is Fuego. And um, for me, I just, I fell into it right away. I knew what we wanted to do. But it's always just to, because it's, I think it's interesting that we're talking about this, because I feel that people are now starting to talk about who actually creates a performance, and where it came from, and they have an interest in it. And I think it's so nice that you're talking about it, and, and you know, discussing this, because it's nice for us to talk about it as well. Mm -hmm. Usually it's only composers. Uh, and for me, Fuego was meeting Eleni and getting to know her, actually not in real life, we met through Skype the first times, and we clicked instantly. So I felt that she trusted me, and I told her, I know this is going to be wrong, weird for you. You have your team of choreographers and dancers, and you know, you have your thing going on. I know this is really scary to trust me. You never met me. Mm -hmm. So, but I have a really good feeling for this, mm -hmm. so you need to trust me. And she did. <laughs> and then I came down to Greece to, re to rehearse with her and it just came in sync right away. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have the same style mm -hmm. and we have the same vibe when it comes to choreography. And there was a few points always, you know, you have this performance that you, you paint up for the artist and then you get into uh, rehearsals and you actually, you know, things happen. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like they want it or I want it and you have to learn how to tweak it. And that's my job, mm -hmm. to keep it on the right lane, to make sure that it's gonna look what we wanted, to keep our vision straight. Mm -hmm. So, but Fuego was amazing. And I love the fact that she trusted our four dancers from mm -hmm. Sweden also. Mm -hmm. They're all so, so tight. I don't know what happened. It became like a Fuego family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's interesting that you're feeling like it's refreshing to have the focus on you because maybe you didn't realize this already, but um, when you did the number for Iveta, Yeah, lovely. Your, yeah, well, your <laughs> name has been, I think if I remember correctly, that was when I first noticed that people who are really into that show started saying your name a lot because they really felt strongly about that number and the way it was visually presented because the song is going to be what it is but when you can elevate it live which mm. i think you did with the Thank way that it was staged so yeah i mean your name has been floating around for a while the way it works yeah. now is like if somebody announces oh sasha jean baptiste is doing my number the eurovision fans get very excited they're like oh she's coming oh my god that's the Pressure. No, it means that you you've made it. You know <laughs> your name, no, and people know that they are gonna expect a certain standard when mm -hmm. your name is involved now. Sorry, no, it's, it's okay. <laughs> can call back. Yeah. <laughs> no, but thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot. But I also think that what I'm most happy about is that I think there's so many people creating a performance, and it's so interesting to. To, be, to have the honor and the trust, to be the person who actually has the idea mm -hmm. and, and to lead that until we're on stage. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's such a humbling experience because mm -hmm. you really need to take care of the artists and their career and everything. And I'm so happy that I feel that the last couple of years have been to your vision, that people are actually paying attention to the dancers, mm -hmm. to who made the quote, who did the choreography, is there a creative director in this, who had the idea? I mean, it's just, I think it's, pure love and I think it's so important for this industry to look into the details yeah and I mean the interest you're showing and people is just amazing I feel so lifted up by it and happy but I'm also so happy for everybody else all the other creative directors all the other dancers that were you know getting noticed yeah being a part of a song I mean it's amazing so just two more questions yeah one is about Fuego and it's, I promise it's a completely serious question. Yeah. The hairography. Yeah. The fact that you're having the yeah. hair movement. So yes. I want to know how many <laughs> meetings and how much work goes into 
okay, we gotta make sure that the ponytails are like this and that the hair is this length and that it's styled <laughs> so that it can move and you know how yeah. much planning goes into that because yeah. it looks great, yeah. but I don't think that's just something that happens without putting the work in. No, so you should know I'm a control freak. Mm. That means I want to know how the clothes look. I always have a draft for styling, for makeup, for hair. I want to know how the curls are curled because I believe they move differently. You yes. can curl them differently. Mm -hmm. So if I want the hair to snap, I want it to be a certain curl or wave. Mm -hmm. So this is me, a geek. <laughs> and also with uh, how much is a close up, how much does the eyes tell you when it comes to the eyeshadow? Is it supposed to be intense? Is it shimmery? Everything matters for me. Mm -hmm. It's in my mind from the beginning. And then I meet an artist and they have their stylist and their team and we work together to find the right solution. Because if you don't look into details, you're never going to have a wow experience. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. You need to be on top of every detail to, to create a good performance. And that means having an idea, but also working with the team that is putting their work into it. Working with the stylist, working with the light designer, working with everybody to make sure that you're in the same loop to keep the vision. And also, fun thing, you know, I don't think any of the girls has that long hair, the dancers. But yeah. for me, it was important because Eleni had this big, like, Lion's I know. Mane. Yes, and she feels like a, you know, she she is like a lion, mm -hmm. and she is like an animal, sexy cat animal. I wanted her to be that, and I wanted the dancers to be the strict part. That's why the const the contrast is so important. They're black in their hair. One of the girls were blonde, but I really wanted her to be with us. I was like, I'm sorry. Can you dye your but hair? <laughs> we need to make you black hair. And she was yeah. like, okay. And she's a super fair-haired girl, like blonde, <laughs> blue eyes, a Swedish girl. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, but this needs to happen. Because yeah. my otherwise, I'm not going to be able to sleep. Because I mm -hmm. want you to dance. You're moving exactly how I see it. But I can't have you blonde. Yeah. So we actually uh, put, you know, the spray that you spray, oh. and then you wash it out. Okay. So yeah. So you were nice. You didn't even make it go for No, 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 no. I mean, no. I would never do that. And it worked out fine. I was a little bit scared. But I was yeah. like, plan B is for you too to dye your hair, it's important. But it's just the way the ponytail snaps in that performance and Elenis doesn't, it's mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. Because they are always gonna be more like a soldier army behind her. Mm -hmm. And I think the contrast is so important. For example, if you have a sexy move, like the second drop when they go down and that deep split that I see people do, thank yes. you, I love that. <laughs> that part is, if the camera moves, you lose everything. Mm -hmm. Strong, independent women, need to be able to control what we're seeing. Yes. That's why it's so important that the picture is static, mm -hmm. the light goes away and we present something else, more like mm -hmm. a music video with another key light of pink. Mm -hmm. So they're the only thing moving and dominating that picture. Mm -hmm. If you would have cut it or moved around, it would have became too sexy and, mm. and weak. So it's, the contrast is everything for me. Mm. That's yeah. so interesting. So then yeah. one final question, yeah. um, and this is purely self-indulgent <laughs> on my part to ask about this. Yeah. What can you tease about Darren's arena tour? Because I'm not gonna go because I don't live here, but the fact that you're working on it makes me think it's going to be amazing. Thank you. Well, I'm super excited. I'm actually pre-working it now with my team because I'm here, but they're in Stockholm. And Darren is special because I work with him a lot. I've been with him, been with him from the beginning, sort of, but in different ways. Yeah. And for me, he is one of our biggest voices, yes. a really true pop artist, mm -hmm. like one of those who doesn't play. I mean, trends come and go, songs come and go, but he is always in there. He is always, people want to hear from him, music-wise. They want to see him in the pictures and the magazines. I mean, he has something about him. Under MJ, you know, like something that is classic or timeless. Yes. He is also a crazy creative person. Mm -hmm. Crazy. So we've been having a lot of meetings and we're going to do something that feels that you're entering his world. But for me, it's important that when you get into the arena, you need to understand that it's not a regular performance. You need to understand how you see the stage design that it's going to be something that is his mm -hmm. and not anybody else if mm -hmm. it makes sense yes i think that's important because you, when you work with live you only have you have another way of talking with the audience mm -hmm. you need to capture them in different ways than what you do with tv mm -hmm. so it's going to be really i would say a lot of effects mm -hmm. it's going to be really strong in and dominating in how it looks from the beginning i don't want it to be to um I don't know how to explain it. I don't want it to be too broad. Mm. I want to just gather him in one look and keep him in that. 
amazing. Yeah. I wish I could see it. You should it. come, though. I don't live in Sweden. It's, too expensive. it's a perfect thing to it's come for a dinosaur. I need a break from Sweden, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I could Thank have easily you. talked to you for an hour if you had the time, but, you, you know, you got to you gotta do your job. And be yeah, right. I need to do the broadcast. Yes, an yes. iconic boss lady, but uh, thank you so much. Thank Can you. we take a picture for the thumbnail? Of course.